Hello, gamer nom is back, and we are going to reach max mastery with the Do fruit and prepare to awaken it. But before we start, you can show your support by using Star Code Gamer Nom when purchasing your Robux. Where the actor slam, oh, there is a forward, there's your slam, there's the dump. I decided to make this video because, again, guys, update 17.3 is near, and also someone commented this in one of my videos. For those who don't understand, because this is in Tagalog, basically he means that I am using auto farm, or in other words, I am cheating, I'm using scripts. So I replied and told him my techniques, but still he insisted that I use auto farm. So, guys, I saw that opportunity to help this dude and also show you some techniques on how to grind the dough fruit really fast because, again, update 17.3 is coming this September 3. So, let's go. So, first off, we need the dough fruit. So, in my inventory, I think. Oh, we don't have the dough fruit. <laughs> don't worry, we have lots of money, guys. 100 million. So, Black Fruit's cousins will give us the dough fruit. Okay. No! No! Guys, don't worry. Don't worry. Yeah, who wants a falcon fruit? <laughs> we will buy this fruit. Yes. I spent all my savings just to buy the dough fruit. So make sure to use my star code. <laughs> and make sure to like and subscribe. There you go. 118 Robux left. <laughs> okay, guys. So now we are ready. But before I give you my first tip, guys, again, using auto farm scripts is illegal. So guys, better not use this because if you get caught, you will be banned from the game. Okay, so my first step in grinding is you need to choose the best fight style that suits you. Okay? So for me, if you're gonna ask, I'm gonna pick the death step because of its fast M1. There you go. So now we are ready. Tip number two. Choose an enemy that has no haki. Why gamer gnome? Because the dough fruit, for those who don't know, is not elemental or logia, but if you activate your observation haki, check that out, it will turn elemental. Okay, for those who don't know. So guys, using your death step or your fight style, use your left clicks until it reaches critical level. Just like farming, you can do this to four of them. Guys, make sure to get some quests because that will also give you money, okay? Okay, so there you go. And one more tip. If you have extra Robux, buy the 2 times mastery to make things faster. Gamer no, what if I don't have Robux? Yes, it's fine. Then it will just be longer, but you can still use this strategy. So from level 1, Do Fruit, with just 4 enemies defeated, your mastery is 92. I know guys, you're gonna tell me Gamer Nom on the other island, there is a better mob. Yes guys, oh by the way, we've already unlocked the Roller Donut, and if you're a Fishman V2 or V3, using Roller Donut in the water is possible. You will not get damage, which means your F skill, Roller Donut, won't get cancelled. And this island, you can start defeating the Ice Cream Chefs. Yes, they don't have Haki, so you can use your Dark Step to defeat them. There you go. By the way, we have a total of 6 tips. Guys, if you follow tip number 6, I will assure you, you will reach max level mastery 600 in 4 hours. For our third tip, guys, when you unlock your X skill at mastery 100, this is a single target skill. So are you gonna rely on just the fried dough? No, guys. You're gonna start defeating your enemies one at a time. For our first strategy, we're gonna lure 4 to 5, right? And defeat them with Z skill now. We're just going to damage them using our left clicks or M1 with the fight side and then defeat them using either our Z skill or X skill. Don't worry with the cooldown because before you even reach the next mob, I am sure that one of your skills is already on cooldown. Okay, I hope that strategy works. So for tip number 4, when you unlock the carved dough, your C skill, there you go. You can now go to the final island of the Sea of Treats. And this island is this one in the middle and you can start defeating the cookie crafters. Guys, this is kind of hard because this mob has haki but again you can lure seven at a time. Yes guys, seven because they're so near each other. There you go. So again, you're gonna use your death step, all your skills. And after that, use your fried dough and your carved dough. Oh, you did that hit. Just a reminder, make sure to hit your enemies, okay? Check that out guys, you will gain 6 masteries for every set. 
but this is kind of hard to be honest because the damage is not yet that high so if you're having a hard time guys you can go back on the first mob the peanut scouts because they're easy to defeat and again they don't have hockey there you go but the downside is you will only get two masteries Imernom, how about the other mobs the ice cream chefs on the other island guys you will get four masteries i suggest be more patient until you reach 300 mastery because you will unlock your final skill the restless do barrage and now guys you are ready to defeat the cookie crafters okay so how do you do it very easy again use all your skills check this out i am not even activating my devil's flames so after that use your c skill z skill and to finish them off your new skill the v skill restless do barrage so guys you will now have an easier time on defeating them Another advantage of grinding in this island is you can unlock the Dome Master. Yes, Game Renome, is there a requirement? Guys, you need to defeat 500 mobs in this island. And once you do that, you are going to talk to this NPC. There you go. So guys, you need a friend. Let me shout out to my brother who helped me defeat this boss. You need to enter this area. You know, the dimension has spawned. Thingy, there you go. On defeating this boss, there is a chance that you will get the trident. But guys, you won't earn any mastery here. So I don't know if you should do this. Moving on for the tip number 5. It is located in the haunted castle. You can defeat these mobs. What gamer them? The reborn skeletons? Yes. First good thing about this is they don't have hacky. You can lure 7 at a time. And they give out bones. The only negative thing with this mob is that it gives out less mastery compared to all the mobs that I've mentioned first. Why should I grind here Gamer Gnome? It's because of the bones. This will make things longer but guys, if you have bones, you can go here in the Death King and every 2 hours you can pin random surprises. So there's a chance that you will get bellies, shards, a 2 times experience for those who are not yet in max level and also you can get 2 rare items. Correct me if I'm wrong, I kind of forgot it. I think the first one is the Fire Essence, which is used to unlock the Dragon Talon and the Hollow Essence used to fight the boss here. And it will drop a Legend. I don't know if it's Legendary or Mythical, the Sword, Crimson, or the Hollow Sight. I'm not sure. Again, comment it on the comment section. So guys, you will achieve max level with the Doe Fruit here. Slower, but there is a chance that you will unlock Dragon Talon and the Hollow Sight. Okay, so before I show you our final tip, guys, we were able to get the spiky trident on our second try. I think this weapon is part of the Doe Awakening. Guys, take note of that. So now, for our final and most important tip, tip number six. Okay, for the requirements, first, you need an item that will decrease or make the cooldown of your skills faster. So again, item that decreases cooldown so for me i have the chop pod that's my favorite for those who don't want to use it use your own item next you will need a friend yes yeah, someone who will help you damage some mobs is this the cookie crafter no guys so i'm going to show it to you now so after defeating the cookie crafters your next target is the baking staff you will ask your friend to damage them for you and after that you will just defeat them easily and go back to the cookie crafters but gamer gnome there are two other mobs here. Why not those mobs? If you're talking about the cookie guard, guys, they're so near the cookie crafters that your skills, even with the help of your item, is not yet on cooldown. The head bakers, guys, they're so far away that you will waste lots of time because, again, they're so far and your skills will be on cooldown for a long time before you even reach them. And while I'm talking, hopefully you're watching, guys. This is the final 6 minutes of my grinding. So it took me 6 minutes to grind uh, Mastery 590 until Mastery 600. If you're gonna try this strategy, at first you will really have a hard time. But once you get used to it, everything will be easy. That's why I also showed you my final 6 minutes of grinding. But this is in times to speed. So most likely this clip, part of this clip is only 3 minutes. So there you go guys, make sure to hit them properly with your skills. And if you can defeat the cookie crafters without even using your v-skill, that's good. Because if you reach the baker staffs, 
with your V skill on cooldown, you can defeat them easily. Okay? Given that your friend has damaged them enough for you to use only one skill to defeat them. There's still one and a half minute remaining on this clip, so make sure to learn from it. And I will see you in the end of this video. Enjoy guys! Oh, and one more thing, if you have a better strategy, please tell me. Okay, did I mention that a while ago? I'm not sure. But guys, again, if you have a better one, comment it in the comment section. I will try it. And if ever, that is better. I will make a video of it and give you credit. Okay? My mind reckless. Thoughts are feeling endless. Sitting up on breathless. Anxiety is infectious. I feel so defenseless. Betrayed and embarrassed. I hate being open. I hate being broken. I feel like an ocean filled up with emotion. Anger ain't a potion. Rub it on like lotion. I can feel it soaking. Reopen. The scars have awoken. I can't move on till I let go. I feel so lost, never at home Need to be strong, every breath hold Cause I can't move on till I let go I can't move on till I let go I feel so lost, never at home Need to be strong, every breath hold Cause I can't move on till I let go And there you go guys, finally we've reached Mastery 600. Gamer Nom, are you ready for this update? Almost there guys, but I hope that this video helped you on how to grind fast. If you're gonna ask me, Gamer Nom, about the fight styles, the swords, the guns, guys, that's very easy. Just use Buddha Fruit, okay? So again, that's it for this video. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is Gamer Nom, and Gamer Nom out!